Hey guys, Jason here, and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. Um, this will be my eighth what is on my iPhone, and that's just crazy to me that I've been doing this for eight years. Now, almost always I upload this video on December 30th. Um, I missed it one year. I don't remember why. And then this year, I completely forgot about it for some reason. I normally put a reminder on my phone, or I just normally remember. Well, this year I forgot, and it currently is January 26th, so I'm almost a month late on this video. But without further ado, let's get into the what's on my iPhone. Now, I'm going to screen record my phone, and I'm going to try and put it on the video. I'm going to try and figure out how to do that, but if I can't, I just can't. So, yeah. So starting off with my phone... I have the black iPhone 14 Pro Max. I think it's space black. I think that's the name. But anyways, it's the black iPhone. I normally don't ever get the black iPhone just because I normally just don't like them. But um, I really like this black color for some reason. Um, now, if you remember last year, I had the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I would still have that phone, but if you want to know why I got a new phone, go watch my iPhone 14 unboxing. So yeah. Um, so like I said, this is the Black 14 Pro Max in 256 gigabytes. Um, yeah, which I probably should have gotten the 512 because I'm almost out of storage on this, but it's fine. Um, the case I have on it is a case to buy case. Um, it's just got like palm trees. I think it's the beach. And it's the sunset or sunrise. I guess it could be the sunrise. Um, I have wanted one of these phone cases for the longest time. And I um, finally got one for Christmas. So yeah. So starting off with my wallpaper. Oh. Huh. Let me turn off Do Not Disturb. Starting off with my wallpaper, it's a picture of my dog just giving me a funny look. Um, and then I have the face ID. So yeah. So on my first page, this is probably the same as it was three years ago, four years ago. I don't think I've ever changed my home screen or the second page on my phone. Well, maybe the second page, but anyways. Um, so on the first page, I have messages, calendar, photos, camera, maps, clock, WTF forecast, which is a weather app. I don't use the normal iPhone weather app. Uh, this is a weather app that tells you the weather, obviously, but depending on like how hot or how cold it is, or if it's raining, snowing, fog, whatever, it will give you a funny phrase based on what the weather is. Um, then I have news, wallet, watch, reminders, notes, iTunes store, app store, books, Apple TV, health, and settings. And then on like the um, main bar at the bottom, I have phone, mail, safari, and music. And then on the next page, this has maybe changed since last year, but not by much. I have a little folder called extras. And on the first page of the folder, I have compass, voice memos, contacts, calculator, measure, fraction calculator, photo math, Grammarly, and podcast. Which some of this I could probably delete because I'm not in school anymore, but. Then I have Reality Composer, which is like some special iPhone app. It's like an AR app. I forget I have it and I don't ever use it. Um, I have COVID-19 like alert, I guess. I, I don't really know what the app's for. I guess it if you say you, you tested positive and someone else has the app set up, you can the phones will talk to each other or something, I don't know. 
Then I have another math, math photo thing. It's just called photo. And then I have my UC Health and my chart for my doctors. Okay, so now getting on to the page, which again, this hasn't changed much in the past few years, but this year I think it's a little bit different. So I have tips, FaceTime, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, which is all just Jay Sloughlin. Um, I have Find My, Apple Store, Facebook, Messenger, which those are private, eBay, Amazon, Nine News, which I could honestly probably get rid of, but whatever. Starbucks, Offer Up, I have the Google app, I have Target, the Cartwheel app for Target, Shazam, Google Translate, We Heart It, Pinterest, Yelp, and Grand Theft Auto V cheat codes. So then on the next page, I have Block Hexa which is a puzzle game. Hopefully the screen. See, this is the problem. Oh no, it didn't. Okay. I was gonna say the screen recording went away. So basically, I know I've showed this before, but basically you just fill in the shape with shapes. Okay. Then I have QR Reader, YouTube, Files, uh, the Clips app, which I don't think I've used once, and that's when I first downloaded it in 2019. I've never used it again. Uh, the Fitness app, uh, Best Buy, Sleep Plus Plus, tracks your sleep with your Apple Watch. Um, Google Home, Blur Editor, which is a photo editing app where you can like blur someone's face or the background or something like that. Anything you want, really, which I like. Then I have Storm Shield, which is a weather alert app. Uh, the Xbox app, Netflix, Apple Support, GarageBand, Mac Tracker, which is an app that just tells you, like, every iPhone ever made. So then if you click on one, let's click on the iPhone 5. Um, it will say introduce, introduced 2012 September, discontinued September 2013. Um, tells you the model, tells you what the initial price was, tells you the status like support status, which the five is vintage. Um, color is black, slate, or white and silver. Um, tells you the weight, the display the capacity it came in, the original iOS, uh, tells you the last iOS version. So it's pretty cool. Okay, then I have YouTube Studio, so I can edit YouTube videos or, you know, make the thumbnails, basically. I have Bitmoji, Siri Shortcuts, which I've used maybe once. Um, Starbucks, like, secret menu drinks, which I don't even know if this app works anymore. Oh, now you have to pay for it. Well, it was free. Oh, no, it's still free. Hmm, weird. Um, white noises, which is exactly what it sounds like. Um, song pop, which is like a quiz game where you challenge your friends to guess popular songs. Google Earth and Google Assistant, which, again, those two I don't really use. Okay, then on the next page, I have, sorry, I'm just trying to get a little more comfortable. Okay, on the next page, I have Countdown, which I use a lot, actually. I have... Uh, the news channel for here in Florida. I have Sky View, which um, if you point it at the sky or wherever, it will show you where the planets are, the galaxies, that kind of stuff. Um, reverse video, 
which just put the video in reverse. Um, then I have WPECWX, so Storm Shield Weather. Um, I have the Xfinity mobile app because that is my phone carrier. I have Xfinity hotspots, which honestly I could probably get rid of. Drop Smash, which is a game where you, if it loads, you're on this thing and you, you like drop and try and smash the thing down below. Okay, then I have Pimp Your Screen, which is a wallpaper app. Um, this app is no longer available in the App Store. I think it's called something else. I think it's a different name now, but either way, it's not called Pimp Your Screen. The only way I have it is because my mom purchased it and we have the family sharing or whatever. Then I have Microsoft Word, Chick-fil-A app, Lego Tower, which... You basically just run like an office building. Um, then I have Double Take, which is a video recording app where you can record from your back and your front camera at the same time. I think it came out in 2019. It was like one of the features with the iPhone 11. Then I have 20, 48 balls, which you... Um, basically, you try and match the balls, and then you eventually get the number at the bottom. Then I have Cora. I have Live Collage, which is a picture collage app. I have the Weather Channel. I have iMovie. I have Fetch Rewards, which never used. Taco Bell, I have Wells Fargo, my bank app, Tropical Smoothie, never used, I need to get rid of, BitLife, and Hulu. Okay, then on the next page, I have Happy Color, which is a color by number app. I have Smart Pay, which it's how I pay for gas at a gas station where I live. Pizza Hut, WikiHow, Bin is kind of a cool app. It shows you where you've been in the U.S. Like, I've been to 20 out of the 50 states. Um, then I have Coloring Book, which is another color by number thing. Then I have photo print, which is like a Walgreens, the Walgreens photo booth thing. So you upload a picture, send it to Walgreens, they print it, and then you go and pick it up. Apple Insider, which is like an Apple source news thing. Zodoc, I think it's like a doctor's app. I don't know. I don't remember what this is. Oh, yeah, it's for uh, doctors. Then I have Planes Live. This is a cool app. You can select, like, what plane, and it gives you information about it. Speed Test, which is to test the Wi-Fi. Jersey Mics. Jingle Quiz, that gives you a jingle. You have to guess it. Dasher, which is my app for DoorDash. Shut Eye, which is another sleeping app that I need to get rid of because I don't use. I think it tells you if you snored, if there was a loud noise or something stupid like that. 94% is another game where you know if you things you find in a pencil case and you have to type. Let's type. You eraser. Yeah. Okay, and then you have State IO, which is like a war kind of game. So you have to take 
all the different countries. Then I have 3D Scanner app, which I don't ever use. Dogtown, which if you have ever played like Nintendo Dogs, it's kind of like that. Um, Last FM, it goes off your Apple Music or Spotify, and it just shows you like your top art, top artist. Like I'm sure mine was Taylor Swift. Yeah, it it shows you like all the songs you've listened to. How many times, I guess. Um, Canvas Run, which is like one of those ads you see on Instagram where like you have to add the ball like you go to plus 200 or something i don't really know how to explain it yeah you go through like the oh, i don't know what those are called you level up basically so like oh, plus 130 okay um then i have universal remote which is for my smart tv Video Easy, which I think is just a video app. Don't ever use. Zillow. I don't know why I have Zillow. So there's that page. And then I have on the next page, Yik Yak, which is basically like an anonymous like chat i guess so you can ask questions and you're anonymous but it's in your area then i have state connect state connect okay basically you just connect the states okay then i have suspects which is it's kind of like if you've ever played Sarah is Missing, like you go through someone's phone. It's kind of like that. Great Clips, Haircut Place, Face Dance, which is an app that like makes a picture's face move to music. McDonald's, PixArt. I don't know what this is. I think you can create different like collages and stuff. Balls Go High, which is another one of those games where you have to, like, add the balls up, go through different things. Um, Pixel Cut, I think, is another, like, photo editing app. Idle Push is literally just a game where you push a button. I don't know why I downloaded it. Uh, watch faces, which is for the Apple Watch. Reverse phone lookup, you can look up phone numbers. Hidden stuff, which is like an I Spy kind of game. Mo Moises, Moses, I think is what it's called. Um, so basically, what this app is is it's like a song editing app. So you you used to be able to like search a song on Safari, copy the URL and put it in. So basically what you would do after you did that, once it was in, you could turn down the music, turn down the drums and just have the singers vocals or just have the music and no vocals. It's a really cool app, but if you don't pay for it, like every month or year, whatever it is, you can only have five uploads per month and I've reached my limit. Then I have the Xfinity account app, Snapspeed, which is a photo editing app, which I think you have to pay for, so I don't know why I have it. Voice Tune is like an auto tune app. Guru Shots is a pic like a photography contest kind of app. So like they have different contests and stuff. Yeah. Um, Tune app turns your picture into a cartoon. Photo room, another like photo edit app where you can like get rid of the background if you wanted. Chipotle, Lowe's. Uh, this app is called 
Givillinchi. What is this app? Oh, you can send electronic like birthday cards and stuff to people. So like you could send happy birthday to someone. Um, then I have Belt It, which is a game where you have to like buckle cargo in for a like crash. I get well crash. It's a crash. So if you click play, like you basically have to. You have to keep the th cargo or whatever safe when you crash. So that's that page. And then the second to last page, I have rope demolish, where you wrap rope around like a building or whatever. Um, Slap and Run is one of those like games with the like the ball game that I talking about um a pause is like an anonymous app kind of like yik yak um not going to show you that because it will show you where i live prison battle is a game where you have to like battle prisoners so yeah obviously i'm gonna lose um Remove objects, which is kind of like what the Google Pixel can do. You can remove objects out of your photos. Hit the island. If you were on Twitter in September when the new iPhone came out, you know that this was a really popular game where you basically play with the island on your phone. I already lost. Okay. Then I have Publix, Venmo, uh, Falling Art, Ragdoll, which you just basically hurt the ragdoll to get points. Crumble Cookies, Stay Room, which I think is like a horror game, which I've honestly never played. I downloaded it, never opened it. Meme Challenge, basically it's what do you, um, what do you meme, um, but phone version. Macari, holy hole, holy hole. It sounds a little wrong. Bas basically, you just have to push the humans into the hole. Uh, Panera Bread film box, which I don't actually know what this is. Oh, you can take like the strands of film that you get like those and upload them to your phone then i have swift space which i don't think is an app yeah swift space was shut down on january 13th dang that sucks but basically it was like you could chat with other taylor swift fans dang i gotta delete that simply seeing as like a voice app tt tt care is a pet app for like if your dog or cat has pain it's like a doctor app basically color monster monster dop story i guess is what it's called. <laughs> Um, then you have Pixel Demolish, which you demolish pixels to earn points. Yeah. Um, flashback. I don't remember what this app is. I think it's. God, what is this?
Oh, you find out who the body is by like rewinding or whatever. You find out who the killer is. Um, Poshmark and Lift Hero, which is basically a game where you just lift stuff to become a big person. It's a really dumb game. I'll show you real quick. Yeah, so that's me. Okay. And that is that page. Now onto my last page. I have Simple Marble Race, uh, which is a marble racing game. Jackpot Crush, which I th never have played. Car Survival, you basically crash cars. Dry Bar Comedy, which gives you comedy things to say to people. Um, Hero Wars. Um, Property Brothers, which is kind of like the you design homes. Wink, which I don't know what this is. Oh, it's like you can make friends, I guess. Elsa Speak, which is like a translating app. I think I downloaded it. Downloaded this to see how well I am at speaking English. Zen uh, helps improve your posture by wearing your AirPods. Only if you have the pros or the third generation. Um, the Home Depot app, Amp Me, which is supposed to make your phone louder. Hyper Hostess. Okay, you try and be don't you good hostess. Whatever. Class trivia, trivia game, police scanner, self-explanatory. Vidaru, Vidaru is a video app for my dash cam. In my car, golf rival. Checking for updates, downloading. It's still downloading. Oh man. Basically, I think it's a golf game. Yeah, it's not going to download. Then I have Atlas Earth, which is, I guess. Kind of like Pokemon Go. I don't have enough money or whatever. And then I have Dig Deep. Which I just download, downloaded this game and I've been playing for like two hours. I'm addicted to this and it drains your phone's battery quick. Let me just say that. Oh, my dog's right there. So basically, you have to dig. <laughs> Sorry, ads. Basically, you have to. Dig this big hole. And you can hire people to dig. And then you trade your coins for... Or trade the things you dig for coins. And then, yeah. So there's that page. And that is everything that is on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, I'm sorry this video is going up a little late. I just completely forgot about it for some reason so yeah all right bye